Today, I'm going to take this high level website that looks ugly, cheap and gets no clients and show you how I would fix it so that it looks beautiful, stands out and actually increases conversions. I'm going to start by breaking down the mistakes that I see on so many high level websites. And by the end of this video, you'll know what these mistakes are so you can avoid them and build a website that actually gets results for your business. All right. So the website that I'm going to fix is this one right here. You see that it looks very cheap corporate and you can tell that this is built on high level the final result is going to look something like this so you see that this definitely stands out doesn't even look like it was built on high level and it looks like it's very high end let's pretend that this website was for a travel agency that does trips for young adults in central america a problem that i see is that who their target audience is and how they portray themselves is completely different somebody that is young looking to travel to a new part of the world is not going to resonate with something that looks corporate boring just like we have right here there's too much going on and it's hard to read right here some of the images look very stock which is one of the mistakes that i see on so many high level websites as well the copy is very boring very corporate unlike this website right here throughout this whole video i'm going to share five keys to a better website and the first key is to focus on having a strong hero section and i'm going to touch on this in just a sec but for now we're going to go back to high level right here and start building so the first thing that i see is that this button is very annoying so i'm going to get rid of this right here clear any animations that it has now that i got rid of that effect i'm going to start by removing the background image right here it's a little bit corporate distracting and doesn't really add to the experience and replace it with something better so let's get rid of this right here now let's pretend that the colors for this company were green and white so in this case what i'm going to do is take this back to white just like this and we have like a weird overlay which we were using before i'm going to get rid of this right here and now the next thing that i'm going to do is well of course this is hard to read so let me just go ahead and fix it to a black for now this still looks very corporate but something that is catching my attention is that this nav bar is a little bit distracting i want my button to be the thing that stands out the most and in this case this green is kind of drawing my attention to that section so what i'm going to do is make it so that this would be transparent just like this and of course this is hard to know that this is a button so what i would do is go to advance and then I would add a full border make sure that the border is of the color of the company which in this case is this one just like this and now I have a green border but a black text so I want to make sure that everything is consistent so for the button I'm also going to change the text to make sure that it is green just like this something that I see on so many high level websites is that they add a logo that has like a square background around it it looks very cheap so what I would do is make sure that the logos that I do add on the site don't have any backgrounds around it so in this case I've already added my logos so I'm going to add this one right here. You see that that looks a lot better. It's a little bit too small. So what I would do is make it so that the width is a little bit bigger. And you may be wondering why I changed the width and not the height. If I was to adjust the height, you see how this gets stretched out in a weird way. And it also causes some issues on mobile. So honestly, what I would do is just get rid of the height and only play around with the width. Now that we have this right here, what I do want to add is a line, kind of like what we had right here, making that distinction between these two sections. So what I would do to do this is is click on this section go to advance and then for border i'm going to do bottom border just like this and then here i'm going to make it so that the border will be of that same green and that's how very quickly we change the nav bar from something that looks like this very cheap too much going on to something a little bit more minimalistic like you see right here the next thing that i want to do is have a two column layout kind of like what we have right here some text right here and then an image so that's what i'm going to do right now since i already have a one column row right here i'm going to duplicate this just like this and then get rid of everything that's inside this column and then replace it with an image so add an image just like this now the second key to a successful high level website is having visuals that create trust and help the prospect book so in the previous case we had something that was very generic just like this didn't really transmit a feeling to the specific target that i'm going to go after which in this case was 18 to 35 year olds who feel stuck and want more out of life this honestly in the background kind of subconsciously it seems like a older couple so it's not even going to resonate with our target audience what i would do is add an image that has that feeling or encapsulates those people so in this case this couple right here seems like it's a little bit of a younger audience the 
image has too much going on and because this is the hero section, I wanna keep it simple. So instead, what I would do is add an image just like this. I decided to add this image to the hero section because they're smiling, it's very inviting. And subconsciously, I'm getting the vibes that they are inviting me to be part of the adventures. And if an 18 to 35 year old came across this website, having visuals that speak directly to them with people that look just like them and kind of like the same trends, the same lifestyle would make it so that it's more appealing and they feel connected to actually book with this business. In your case, if you're a landscaper, you wanna make sure that the images that you have are relevant to the type of customers that you're trying to go after. Something else that I'm gonna do right now is I wanna make it so that this will be a full width section. I hear a lot of people say that the high level website layouts is always like centered in the middle. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve something like this. The first thing that I would do is here on high level, I wanna make sure that I click on this green section right here and I select allow rows to take the entire width. Now you see that this is taking more of the entire section, but there's still some margins. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of all of these margins right here. To do this, first of all, is I'm gonna click on this green section right here and any padding that I see around it, I'm gonna make it so that it's zero, just like this. I'm gonna do the same for the blue section right here. And you see that there's padding all around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything just like this. And now you see how I'm starting to get that same design like I had on the previous side. The one problem though, is that here is very tight. So for this side, because it's not the image, it's the actual actual text, we wanna make sure that we leave space for readability purposes. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is click this section right here and add a little bit more padding into the sides, maybe like 60 on this side and then 60 on this side, just like this. This is what we have right now, starting to look better, but something that I want you to take a look into account and it's the third key for a successful website, it's making sure that on your site, when you offer your products or your services, you focus on the dream outcome and not on the features or technicalities of the service. So in this case, this says comprehensive travel solutions for Central America. Nobody cares. A better way to portray our travel agency or travel experience services would be something like this. Adventure, connection, experiences, and so on. We call out exactly who this is for. Unique trips in Central America for 18 to 35 year olds who feel stuck and want more out of life. Meet amazing people and share incredible adventures. So this tells us exactly who this is for, what problem we're trying to solve, and how we solve this problem, as opposed to having something very very generic, very corporate, that doesn't resonate or speak with our target audience. So what I'm gonna do is copy this right here and then replace it here on our sub headline and then do the same for our hero section right here. I'm gonna make this bigger. So for right now, let's make it so that it's 120 just like this. And that's a little bit too big. So maybe I just make it so that it's 80 just like this. And this is too bold. So I'll make it so that this is not bold. And this is very hard to read just because it's centered aligned. So that's something that I see on a lot of high level websites. They have long texts that are center aligned and just make it so that it's not easy for a prospect to read. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and left align it just like this. And I'm gonna do the same for this button very quickly. So this is starting to look better. It's starting to look like it was not built on high level. There's still a lot of things that we need to do to make it even better, but it definitely looks a lot better than this right here. The fourth key of a successful website is having branding and a user experience that is in accordance to the person or the avatar that we're trying to go after. So even the types of fonts we use will help transmit this to our prospects. Even just by changing the font of the headline, we make it so that this has a lot more personality and our website definitely catches the attention of our prospects. I'm back on high level and there's a lot of space right here. So what I would do is make it so that this is closer just like this. And for the font, what I'm gonna do is since I only wanna change the font for this headline right here, I'm not gonna do it here at a global level, but instead I'm gonna go click here and then scroll down to where it says typography type, make sure that I am in custom font. And then in this case, the one that I'm gonna select is Sancita Wash, which is a font that has a lot of personality. And I do wanna make it so that it's a little bit bigger. So let me make it so that it's 120 just like this. I wanna make sure that my nav bar aligns with my hero right here. So in this case, it is not. So that's making it look a little bit disorganized and not like fully centered. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is click on this section and make sure that I allow rows to take the entire width. And now that I've done that, I wanna make sure that I add some padding because if this was to be zero, it would be too close. So in my case, I'm gonna keep it so that it's 60 so that it lines up very nicely right here. A common mistake that I see on some high level websites is that the nav bar is very thick. I see some nav bars that look just like this. So if you're noticing that in your website, this is taking too much real estate off your screen, what you can do is of course, make sure that you minimize this. So in my case, I would keep it so that it's 
very, very thin and it just looks like more professional and just more beautiful overall. The last key of a successful website is making sure that it is mobile optimized because as you know, about 50% of traffic that lands on sites is coming from mobile. So in this case, you see that this is not optimized at all. What you could do and the beauty of high level is that you can adjust the font sizes for both desktop and mobile. So for mobile, 100 pixels is very, very big. So in this case, I would make it so that it's say 60 and that looks a lot better. The last thing that I would do is you want to make sure that you give at least 10 or 20 pixels here on the sides. If not, there's not going to be like enough margin and it's going to be hard for a prospect to read. So in my case, I'm going to add instead of 10 pixels, I'm going to do 20 on the sides just like this, just so that when I look at it on mobile, it looks a little bit better as well. The last thing that you may be wondering is Rico, how did you add this cool effect right here in the hero section? I wanted to make sure that this was a little bit dynamic and overall enhance the user experience. If you want to add this to your website as well, if you already have my notion doc, this is tutorial 3.7 right here, how to add a rotating text effect. And it has an exclusive video as well. I also show you how to make it so that it's mobile optimized. If you don't have my doc or you don't know what this is, this is the resource that I use every day to build better websites for myself, for my clients. Just think of it like cheat codes for websites. If you want to build websites like a pro on high level, click the first link in the description and get access to my notion doc. Or if you're a business and you want me to build your website, click the second link in the description and let's talk.